Well, I'm just here to talk about three-phase um, setups with um, your homemade generators and wind turbines. Here I just got a protractor that I got off Google Images I cut out. And um, along the outside I've spaced where would the uh, where the coils would sit. Um, three-phase. Red being one phase, green being another, black being the third, and on my protractor I have red arrowheads indicating where the magnets would sit. As you can see, um, I have the zero point, zero degrees, where a magnet would be sitting on a coil. Now if you go around you can see how they don't match up every space here but every third they do. So right now with a red coil a magnet is right above it over here the same would be and the same would be. Magnets are 30 degrees apart coils would be 40 degrees apart. This forms like a triangle so if I rotate this zero over to the green, as you can see they're all out of line except for the greens. And back we'll do the blacks, same with the blacks, another triangle. So as it rotates, you can kind of see how we pass over the coils each phase at different times. Now the advantage to this would be the, um, the graph you would get would look something like this, output, and uh, it's probably upside down for everybody, but just flip it that way. Now when you convert this to DC, um, I guess the best way to show it would be get rid of all anything negative below and you're left with all this power here to be used for your DC rectification and just to compare that I do have a single phase here now if you were to rectify that you'd only get you know like lumps of DC out where they actually fall to zero um, every cycle where it's three phase you never fall to zero way more efficient output you see here they over they overlap so I mean if anything this is the lowest point right here it goes down to so you get almost like a very more efficient power output when it comes to rectifying. So, it took me a while to figure out why people, well it didn't take me a while, but I understood people using um, nine coils with 12 magnets. And of course, like every time this makes one complete revolution, you know, your, your, your coils are getting hit, you know, 12 times with the magnet. And then just behind that would be your next phase. Just behind that would be your next phase. Overlapping, giving you that much more power output. So if you are considering doing any projects with wind turbines or your own little setups, power generators of any sort, uh, three phase is uh, definitely, you know, the way to go. So I just thought I'd show this as a little... Um, you know, teaching experiment in, uh, in your quest to building uh, your own little project. Take care.